do you two like your watches? I've never you, you owned like a watch in my I entire don't life. Love my watch. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I have an Apple Watch, and I <laughs> very, very, very infrequently yeah. wear it. And I have a nice watch, a fossil watch that I'm. I wear with like suits and whatnot. And I'll be honest, that thing stopped ticking like a year ago, and I just put it on to have it on. Yeah. Because it looks good in a suit. Like so I'm not. Yeah, my boyfriend's yeah. got his Apple Watch cord broke. He doesn't use it. He puts it on sometimes. <laughs> I want a nice watch again. I like I like my nice fossil watch. I just I don't know. It's it was always felt like more of a always felt like more of a hassle to like take care of than I wanted to do. But as I get older, I I find the need for considering the watch at work again, and you know, getting a couple more watches to dress up an outfit because you do look a little bare when you're yeah. just you know yeah i mean like tie. if you and you're if you're a chick i mean most of the time you would pick a bracelet over a watch sure yeah um i guess i think guys look fine in bracelets but you know most guys will go for a watch over a bracelet yes i, I think I that's def- the safe bet i definitely am a watch guy i love watches um but did you see this twitter account made a tier list of all the big watch companies in the world. Did you see this? 16 million yeah. people saw this. I did. I was one of them. One of many in the 16 million people. So here it is right here. This is the watch categories, right? Mm-hmm. It's split oh, up. I have seen this. <laughs> the top is ultra luxury. It goes ultra luxury, high end luxury, luxury, basic luxury, entry luxury, Entry, luxury, and then entry. First things first, Rolex is only a luxury watch. Like that is the standard of watches. And they're only a luxury watch. There's two tiers above them, according to this person. That's how we know, Matt, that we're not rich famous yet. We <laughs> stopped at the luxury watch. We're like, oh, Rolex. And Omega's on, again, Omega's on there. Cartier's on there. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like all the ones that I know of stop at luxury the rest of them you have to be something totally different um to find also i do love that uh the one that i just mes- mentioned fossil is literally <laughs> next to like casio <laughs> like like they just no sold a very frankly expensive watch yeah uh, right that I, I have a, like that i personally have they're like yeah that expensive watch that's nothing. <laughs> Dude, I bought a Boulevard watch, right? A special watch for special reason. $450. It's just in the entry level. The entry, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's right yeah, down there I, with the I fossil. just Googled the, was it Beauvais, Beauvais watches, um, mm. 200K. Yeah, yeah that, that's what's things. I've never heard of anything on high end or luxury. Yeah, I've heard of a lot of the luxury, but Beauvais, a 200K watch. Breitling, I've heard of Breitling, Cartier, Rolex, yeah, Breitling. Omega. Like, no offense, when I think of cheap watches, I do think of, like, Timex or Casio. Yeah, Casio. Oh, My was thing's I... next to Casio. <laughs> and nope. Um, the Louis Mignet, I've never heard this. And I used to have a subscription to GQ, and maybe I wasn't paying attention. Or maybe I mean, they good. know that the people... The people who are gonna buy the Louis, what's that? Minoy, Monet, what is that? Doesn't Louis matter. Louis Monet, yeah, yeah. The one, yeah. the people who are gonna buy in that ultra luxury don't need to learn about it on GQ. They just know, like through osmosis, you get born into a certain tax bracket, and like your first word is Beauvais. Uh, you don't need it to be advertised anywhere because I've never seen an advertisement for any of these. Yeah, right. Not even in, the, not even in a high end magazine or anything like that. Yeah. So you must just if you get if you're born at the right you know socioeconomic class, it just gets thrown into like maybe it gets thrown into like preschool. It's one of the words you learn after like mom, dad, and dog and cat and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> I couldn't believe that list. I was it was <laughs> expensive watch. Yeah. Not expensive enough entry level. Yeah, and I bought my wife a watch. I didn't even see on that list. And that was even more expensive than mine. The two hundred thousand dollar watch. That's nuts. And what? I thought I thought that was Rolex, but not Spoil- even close. <laughs> spoiler alert. Didn't buy my wife a two hundred thousand dollar watch. But I did buy her a watch. It was a nice watch. Uh and it was very expensive. On the entry level? <laughs> I don't I didn't even see it on there. <laughs> 
Didn't even see it on entry level. What happens if you're it's not in the internship? Level? It's in the internship. Yeah, exactly. It's a freaking you know you know yeah summer intern or in the mailroom. 